R slash Askredit asks, what is the greatest comeback to an insult you've ever heard? Lunch lady got me in front of my whole class. Tuna fish was for lunch. I said, tuna fish, I'd rather a shit sandwich. Dart. Without missing a beat this 80 year old lady fires back wait right there I can make you one in the back. Needless to say I went with a tuna. Don't fuge with old people. They have heard a lot of savage stuff. Also, don't fudge with people that make your food. <laughs> Sitting in a bar at 3am off of Bourbon Saint the windows are just open shutters. Dude who just left the bar leans in on our table to shout at some friends still in the bar. One of our group makes a silly snide comment. Dude leaning in smacks the table with an open palm and says, Everybody who ever loved you was wrong. Then he walks away without looking back. We still revel in that story. Gordon Ramsay asks his daughter on camera, So what's it like being the daughter of the most famous chef in the world? His daughter replies, I wouldn't know. Jamie Oliver's not my dad. Boom. Roasted. I saw that episode. I think they were making chocolate balls for Christmas. Salty. Chocolate balls. My dear grandmother. She had a quick and savage wit. My fiance and I held a meet the whole family get together at my house. It was the first time his father met my grandmother. His dad was a large, physically intimidating man with a beer gut. He began telling stories to my grandmother about how my fiance was a mischief maker when he was young. Then told my grandmother how he would take off his belt and whip Joe for being bad. My frail little grandmother stares directly at my hubby's dad's tummy and says. Your belt. How could you find it? Future father-in-law was gobsmacked. Grandmas don't give a frick. They know that no one is going to hit a little old lady, so they can run their mouth with impunity. This is the only reason I want to grow old. A friend of mine in first year university had never really dated any girls yet. This dumb meathead that we were kind of friends with told him, when you do get a girlfriend, I'm totally going to frick her. He responded, if I had a girlfriend that would frick you, her cheating on me wouldn't be the issue. Today in one of my classes we were working on a project about careers, and one of the kids shouted I want to be a male stripper. The teacher responded, I think you might be missing some of the qualifications for that job. Edit, the student was male. That happened to me the other day. I joked around with friends saying I wanna be a male stripper and my friend jokingly said, you need a six pack for that. My crush was there. This is the most teenager post I've ever seen. Here's my favorite self burn. In high school math class. A nice, nerdy guy named Richard. A jerk whose name I forget, let's call him jerk. Jerk keeps calling Richard dick, like, hey, dick, did you get the answer to number 4? Richard calmly saying it's Richard. Finally the teacher says Richard, what do you prefer to be called Richard says I prefer Richard. Jerk says well, I prefer, dick. After a few seconds of uproarious laughter from the rest of the class, Jerk realized what he said and sunk as far down in his seat as possible and never bugged Richard again. You dress like a grandpa. That's why your mom calls me daddy. I once gave a classmate a penny and told him, it always feel nice giving money to the poor. He responds with thanks man. With this I can frick your whore at mom and still get get change. Ha. Ha 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 ha. You deserve that. Go frick yourself. Frick me yourself, you coward. Oh man. Taking that one lol. Suddenly turns romantic. My sister when she was 13, maybe 12. She was fighting with my little brother, three years older than her, and he was being aggressive and mean and she clearly yells, I'd call you a dick but you're so fake yeah, a dildo. My mom and I were in the kitchen and my mom yells at her, go to your room my sister goes upstairs and my mom has tears in her eyes, choking back laughter, where did she learn that I told everyone I knew at the time. I called it the sickest burn of all time. It's still so beautiful. I was in Paris with a couple of friends, and in the subway. I did not speak any French, only a little Spanish, but my friend was practically fluent. 
we were talking and joking in English, and these two French women were talking shit about us in French. Mostly about us being gross or dumb Americans. As we left the subway, my friend smiled, and told them in perfect French. We're going to go get cleaned up, too bad there's no shower, for your personality. What is the greatest comeback, to an insult you've ever heard? Tell me down in the comments.